Hello learners, welcome to this course titled as Data Structures and Algorithms offered by Department of Computer Science, ASFR College. I am Dr. Vasanthi, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Through this video lectures, you can gather the information about the data structures and algorithms. Learning objectives of this course to provide the knowledge of basic data structures and their implementations to understand the importance of data structures in context of writing efficient programs, learn some basic algorithms to develop the ability to choose the appropriate data structure for designing an efficient algorithm. In this video, we are going to discuss about introduction to data structures. In today's world, all the time we are all dealing with data only. Then how can we store, organize and group our data together? It is an important thing. If we start to organize the data, we need a particular structure. Without following any structure, we cannot organize the data. For example, let us consider one simple example, English dictionary. In a dictionary, words are sorted. Just think about one second. If it is not sorted, can't imagine. It is very impractical and impossible. So, the dictionary is organized as a sorted list of words. Now, like that, computers also work different kinds of data and also deals with large amounts of data. So, it is a need for storing and organizing the data. Therefore, we need a data structure for storing and organizing the data in a computer. Then only we can easily access the data in an effective manner. The classification of data structure. The data structure it is divided into two main categories. Linear data structure and non-linear data structure. Under linear data structure, there are two broad categories, static data structure and dynamic data structures. For example, array, it will be considered as an static data structure. Static means fixed number of memory location. For dynamic data structures, we can give a queue, list, linked list, stack and all. Example for this. Dynamic means uh, dynamically otherwise during execution the list or stack or queue can grow or shrink dynamically at the execution time. For example, another category it is non-linear data structure. Now for this non-linear data structure examples for this trees and graphs. Linear means arrangement of data in a linear sequence. See this example, consider an array, the elements are arranged in a linear sequence 2, 4, 10 etc. Their indexes are starting from 0 to 5 in this sample. Non-linear means the data items are not in sequence. For this sample, trees and graphs. Among these linear and non-linear data structures, depends upon the data type of the elements, there are two categories of data structures. First one is the homogeneous and second one is the non-homogeneous, otherwise heterogeneous. Homogeneous means all the elements are of same data type. If it is, it belongs to integer data type means all the array elements are in integer data type only. Non-homogeneous or heterogeneous. In this data structures, the elements may or may not be the same type. For example, structure. If we are defining a structure, for example, student name, student ID, 
and then marks. Student ID may be belongs to character data type or integer. Student name, string data type and marks belongs to the numeric data type. Therefore, the data structures are, it can be defined as abstract data type and its implementation. Abstract data type that is ADT, it is a data type, it can be defined in terms of a set of values and set of operations that can be performed on the data type. The operations may be, we can access an element, insert a new element, delete an element, sort the given elements. Therefore, we can define data and operations but no implementation that is known as abstract data type. Implementation means it, we are providing an internal representation of data structure, how we are implementing a particular data structure. Therefore, a data structure it is the physical implementation of abstract data type. For data structures, example for data structure, array, linked list, stack, queues, trees, graphs, sets and hash tables. Till now, we had discussed about introduction about the data structures. Next, an algorithm. Algorithm, before writing, given problem is here. Before writing a program in any computer language, first we have to draft an algorithm. It, therefore, it is a collection of steps to solve a particular problem. Another definition. It can be defined as a finite set of instructions or logic return in order to accomplish a particular task. Therefore, it is not a complete code or program. It is just a logic core logic otherwise solution to the problem. Any algorithm can be expressed in the following ways as a pseudocode in any high level language otherwise uh, by using a flowchart. In any algorithm it can follow the following properties input, output, definiteness, finiteness, correctness. Input it should each and every algorithm must accept zero or more inputs but it should produce at least one output. Definition, definiteness, each and every step must be clear and well defined. It should be completed with finite number of steps. Correctness, every step must generate the correct output. Then only the algorithm, it is a valid one. To measure the performance of an algorithm, it is a very important property to measure the performance of an algorithm, you have to follow these two properties, time complexity and space complexity. Each and every algorithm, it should be efficient and fast. If it takes less time to execute and if it takes less time to execute and consumes less memory space, then only that algorithm it is said to be efficient and fast. This is about the introduction to data structures and algorithms. That's all. I wish the learners for enjoy the lessons. Happy learning. Thank you.